Unit 4. Grammar. In this video, you will learn how to ask questions using question words. Sammy bought a green pen yesterday. Sammy is the one who did the action in this sentence. Sammy is what we call the subject of this sentence. Green pen is the object. Now, I don't see questions. We want to learn how to ask questions. The answer of our question should be Sammy. This is the short answer, Sammy. To ask the question, we will use question words. We can use who to ask about people. You can use which which is used for things or people, if we have limited choice, what is only used for things, not people, if the choice is unlimited. What do we mean by limited and unlimited choice? We will get to this later. For now, let's ask our questions. We will use who, because the answer is Sammy. Who bought a green pen yesterday very simple sammy sammy is the one who bought the green pen now let's ask another question but this time we want the answer to be pen this is the short answer we know that sammy went to the store and he bought something we want to ask about that something that he bought what will we use? We will use what, not which. Why? How many things can you buy from stores? Thousands of things. Now we know that he bought something. Maybe he bought this, 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 or this. A lot of things. Unlimited choice. We will use what, not which. What did Sammy buy yesterday? Okay, look, I see did here. Why did we use did? We didn't use did here. Hmm, interesting. We use did, which is an auxiliary verb, if we ask about the object. We are asking about pen, right? Pen is the object. When you ask about the object, use auxiliary verbs. What are auxiliary verbs? Did? Well, did is one auxiliary verb. You can use do, does, did, am, is, are, have, has, had. Okay, how do I know which one to use? Well, it depends. If the question is in the past, yesterday, use did. If it's every day or it happens in general, use do or does. If it's happening right now, use am, is, and are, and so on. Okay? Now, let's continue. Let's ask another question, but this time, I know that Sammy went to the store and he bought a pen, but I want to know the color of the pen. The number of choices this time is limited, limited choice because I know he bought a pen, but I want to know which pen. Use which. Which pen did Sammy buy yesterday? Did he buy the blue one, the green one, the red one? The choice is limited. Do you understand now limited and unlimited choice? Excellent. Let's continue. Let's ask another question, but this time Sammy bought a green pen for his brother yesterday. I want the short answer to be his brother. Mm. First of all, you need to understand that Sammy is the subject. You know that. And green pen is the object. What about his brother? His brother is also an object. It is a second object. The first object is what we call the direct object. Object number two 
is what we call the indirect object. If you start with the direct object, you need to use for or till between the direct object and the indirect object. You can say, I gave my pen to my brother. Right? You need two or four. You can also say, Sammy bought his brother a green pen yesterday. I don't see four or two. What happened? Well, you can use the indirect object before the direct object switch between them. If you do that, you don't use four or two. Well, his brother is still object number two. Look, this is subject, object, object two. So this is still object two, but you write it first. If you do that, you don't use four or two. Do you get it? Now let's ask the question. Who did? We're asking about the object. His brother is an object. Use auxiliary verb. Who did Sammy buy a green pen yesterday for? You must use four or two at the end of your question. This is very important. Let me give you another example using the verb give. Who did I give my book to? Who did I give my book to? I gave it to my brother. Do you understand? Again, who did I give my book to? At the end, you must use two or four. Now look, buy and give are some of the verbs that can take two objects. We can't do this with all the English verbs. We can do that with a verb like eat. If you say eat, you can only use one object. I ate my food. You can't use a second object. But with verbs like buy, give, offer, send, show, etc. These are not the only verbs, but these are the most commonly used verbs. You can either use one object or they can have two objects. And we finish today's grammar. What do you think? Easy, right? Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I'll see you again next time, inshallah. Goodbye.